Stomach clean? That's how I clean my inventory. Hey, 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 another episode. How's y'all day? What y'all doing? Watching YouTube? Yeah, that's what I thought. Today's episode, I want to restock the shop. I already got the stuff for it, so I have these uh, dispensers and droppers. I said that in the last episode. The latest episode, I was explaining the prices, but I forgot to say that. So I will make sure the prices are fair with these nine redstone blocks. I will try to protect them with these resources. So maybe my redstone is a little bit expensive. Maybe not expensive, I don't know. Maybe it just maybe it's supposed to be expensive sometimes. Because you don't have to go through the process of crafting them and anything. You just go to the shop, boom, buy them. You know, that's that's the most efficient thing. And I took a while. I don't care about the cobblestone or the cords or the smooth stone because I already bought them and it's easy to get them. I'm only worried about the redstone. <laughs> That's the most painful resource that I have to get. If there is a possible farm I can make in Minecraft with witch farm to improve it and make 10 witches spawn in 10 seconds or I don't know. Just as efficient as I want to get enough redstone so I can actually sell redstone 16 blocks per diamond. But now I'm gonna sell it this much because I've been mining. This is not from a farm, <laughs> it's by hand. Welcome everybody to this episode where I wanna improve the redstone shop and give it a little upgrade. So let me take these all with me and fly to the shopping district. I still wanna look at this base again. Oh shit, uh, my chunk render is low. Well, the only reason I put it on low because I wanna just load chunks faster. Sadly, in this server or this update, kind of ruined the chunk loading. So when I put it high up, it doesn't lag my game. It only likes it doesn't lag my game, but it lags the server because of how many chunks I'm trying to load at the same time. So I can't really go through this chunk. I would just have to load in until I actually can get through it. And it's so cringe because sometimes I load the chunks, and then I and and I stay in nighttime. I see a zombie in front of me. Twenty seconds. He already got me in half a heart with one shot damage. That zombie was super saiyan. So I feel like I might play with low chunker render than 10. Probably that's the best. Let me change it really quick. I want to see the best render chunk instead of 5. I want to go with 8. Recommended. Seems like I want to go with 9. It's okay. Oh, jeezy boy. I've run out of fireworks again. Please tell me I have enough fireworks though. Oh my god, I'm already running out. What is this? Oh, Hicks is over there. What is he doing? I'm gonna jump scare him. Hey, hey, hey. Look behind you, what is he doing? Let me see. He's feeling, oh my God, how much time do you have? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay behind him. <laughs> Please notice me, God damn it. Okay, he's, try, he's trying to like, customize it. Hello. <laughs> I think I scared him. Let me go to the shopping district. Why does it take us? So why does it take so long to load the freaking chunk? Oh my god! Finally to the shopping district. Please, please, Minecraft update. I'm waiting for this chunk update. Imagine people using my lighter course and then they would actually lag because of the chunk render. So this is the shop that I bought from Lockley, and it looks pretty nice. But I want to give it a little upgrade so I can actually own the shop. But not really put so much effort to it, just like change the way it looks from the front. Make it more fancy, you know, just hopefully I can improve it. And for the deals, I'm gonna change this because, you know, the deals here are wrong. You can't just buy 10, 10 droppers per diamond and then out of nowhere buy 16 observers per diamond. That's just wrong to do. I'm gonna take these with me. Free droppers for me. But also this observer, I'm gonna change these names. And we're gonna stock the shop with these resources. And I'm gonna change the redstone dust. Oh, it's been one diamond per stack. I'm gonna change it to nine redstone blocks, I guess. I, I have better deals. Let's go. After calculating for about an hour, I've filled everything. We have pistons, we have hoppers, levers, observers, and redstone torches, two repeaters, the converters, and a redstone block. And it looks so fancy when you look at it from outside. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like uh, London and Christmas days when you wanna, when you go to Christmas deals and you just look at these windows and it's just little toys and trains and things. It's, it's just fun to look at. I thought of it that way, like it looks actually nice when you look at it. And I already figured out the design to improve this. Oh yes, Tanya have stocked the hay bales, like I said. I asked her to fill the hay bales because I wanted to buy lots of them so I can make target blocks. Because do you know how much I do you know how much target blocks I need for my storage system? Guess how much I need? Probably ten stacks. <laughs> Maybe more than that. Ten stacks of hay bales. Skull, he's now an energy de Oh come on. <laughs> I'm not Not every wither skeleton is an energy D. Come on, leave me alone. Let me check the chop. 
Please be filled. I want it to be like maxed out. Let me see. Ow! Oh. Oh. Leave me alone. Let me see. See this? One diamond for 32. Yes! <laughs> Whoa, such a good deal. I respect that. I thought she's like selling 16 per diamond, which kind of respectful. Like, I respect that deal. But hey, we got more. Oh, I bought these blaze rods, by the way. So I can fill my super smelter thing. <laughs> I'm putting the wrong chocolate boxes because I'm blindly placing them. What is wrong with me? I'm gonna grab them like this and then drop the diamonds. I'm gonna tell Tanya she's out of stock. <laughs> oh, ah, ah, ah. Wait, for real? Is she gonna stock again? <laughs> I'm gonna just walk behind her. <laughs> my plan is working. I need to hide before she sees me. Hoop, hoop. Yes. <laughs> Hide over here. She will not see me. I'm gonna wait for her until she actually restock. Let me look through the window. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, is she stocking them? Where is she? <gasps> I think she's doing something over there. Oh, she's getting hit by this monster. Oh. Oh, she's getting so much damage. I'm gonna keep hiding until she leaves. There's no way she knows. That's impossible. Oh, she's just checking the deals. I'm gonna be waiting here. <laughs> this is going to be funny. When she leaves the show, I'm gonna rush in. <laughs> and she will attack me, I think. Okay, okay, my chance. <laughs> oh, my shulker box. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh. <laughs> I was excited for no reason. <laughs> leave, 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 leave. Look at these enormous exolotls. All the colors in. Uh, can I get different colors or is it like all of it? Just like blue. I want to get the blue one because those ones are nice. Let me see if there's like a different colors. What? What is this? Let me just check. Let me check the chalk box. Oh! We get all the colors. Oh, so, uh, oh I, got a, I got an idea. So I'm gonna be buying this one box for three diamonds and then buy the expensive one so I can repeat what this looks like to my base. This looks fancy as heck, but not as fancy as I'm gonna decorate it myself. Maybe I'm gonna make it worse, I don't know. Three diamonds for you and a diamond block for the fancy blue one. I mean, I feel like blue exolotls really fit my futuristic base because I like the blue ones and I'm, I'm a blue guy. Now we get all the colors. Listic exolotl, brown exolotl, and then gold exolotl to blue exolotl and cyan. Keep it to my inventory. I'm not going to go anywhere. Where's my goddamn indices? Where did I drop it? Well, I guess I can stock the redstone shop again, but with the new docket blocks. And also, I'm going to start decorating right now. So let's see if I can level up this decoration. Welcome to the red carpet. A new upgraded redstone shop. And it just has redstone blocks instead of redstone ores. Well, I'd rather having... I rather having it like that, it actually looks nicer. And the windows are a little bit different. I changed the wall and removed them. I don't have to change the looks of it, but when I want to own a shop, I gotta just play with the details a little bit and then own it. So I can, you know, just call it level two. And this shop will be called the red carpet, as I said. And I already stocked everything. There's pistons already and hoppers and levers and everything. Levers are a bit like weird to buy because I feel like if somebody if somebody if somebody comes here and then buy just one stack of levers, it's just gonna be forever like that. I don't think people are gonna buy levers anyways, but I'm just gonna make a little bit of diamonds out of them. Lots of comparators and some repeaters. And t redstone torches are difficult to get, you know. There's still redstone. I gotta buy I gotta mine I gotta mine lots of redstone for these. And I I run out of redstone. Yes. I outstocked some cool droppers and lots of dispensers. Nice, stuck the shop, but I'm just running out of redstone again. And we already made nine diamonds, and I haven't even announced the shop in the Discord. It's just... How? Let's announce the shop to the Discord server, and I will come back to you with another plan. I escaped the shopping district because I've been being attacked by barn, getting my redstone stolen. <laughs> uh, I guess this is my first day selling redstone. Just getting attacked. But other than that, I got the exolotls already and I added some water inside this little column. So well, let's put these guys inside. I just, I want to decorate it right now. I don't think I have the stuff for it. Let me just, let me check. Oh yeah, I have all these because I was trying to build the gold farm last time. This is gonna be fun. Let me place all of them. Actually, I'm just gonna, oh, what? No, no, <laughs> what? 
Is there a reason they, they, they can't be in here? Oh no. Oh, this is bad. I can't place them. Is there like a big reason why this not happening? I mean, I could just place these over here and then nothing will happen. They will just become gray, I guess. Yep. But then I can't place them here? Or is it the water? Because the water is falling. Is that right? Interesting. Uh, I'm gonna just add the water on the sand only. So I'm gonna get my eyes very sick. I think I found a way to deal with this. I'm gonna place ice over here and then ice over here until I actually fill the ground with some water the right way, not like placing the ice on top and then expecting it to be normal. One over here. Oh yes, okay. So that was the biggest reason why it was not like place again. Watch this decoration. Does this look nice? No, that's what, <laughs> that's weird. Yellow over here. I can't place these over there. Okay. Let me try my best to decorate this. This looks fine. I'm I'm okay with this. Maybe I'll add vines to it. But let's put all the XLRs inside. Look at these little guys. Yo! And the blue one. The blue one is small! No! I was not expecting the blue one. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought they are gonna actually escape. Where is my thing? Oh, yeah. I'm holding the glass. Okay. Uh, Don't, don't leave. Don't try to escape, please. Huh? Huh? Oh. Yay! <laughs> Look at these beautiful little beans. But they're not moving, I don't know why. Are they just bored? Oh, now they're dancing. <laughs> this blue little x lot is so small, I was not expecting him to be small. Can I like grow him maybe? If I have any fish... I, I never fished in my... I never fished in this series. <laughs> I don't have no fish. Well, I guess it just looks paralyzing and beautiful. It needs a little bit of bushes. I'm half done for my mining progress. I, I stopped because I wanted to prepare my Christmas gifts for three people. Those Christmas gifts gonna be crazy. So I'm gonna start with two down blocks, four stacks of iron blocks, and uh, a special order. A stack of golden ores. I might use some gold. <laughs> it's just painful to get these gold. I'm gonna use one stack. Uh, there's a way I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna put these here, and then I'm gonna put the other one right here. So now this is a good present. And not even expensive for me to gift, so that's nice. I'm gonna repeat that to the other shulkers and gift three special people. A box for Tanya, and a box for Hex. I should have given more gold, but... You know, I guess I can't do that. <laughs> I don't want to lose gold. And my great friend Rocket. Here's a gift for you. Hope you all a good Merry Christmas. I have a weird question. Why did they get so lucky on this chest, but then so bad on these chests? I mean, thank God I didn't get like lower than a stack of diamonds in every chest. So I guess I'm lucky today. And probably spent like five and 50 minutes of mining again. I'm really calculating random numbers. I'm not sure, I, like, if, if I record the mining progress, I would know how long I took, or maybe use my watch to see how long I've been spending on. But for now, let me take all these redstone ores, and I will make sure that my redstone shop will be stocked with these. Do I have enough redstone for myself, just for my own project? Uh, Nope. Let's just say I'm gonna take half of the amount of this redstone ores when I use the fortune pickaxe and then half of it to the shopping, to the redstone shop. Half for the shop and half for the base. Can I count my diamonds for a second? Let me see. Hmm. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Five, uh, four stacks and eight. Uh, let me go back here. I have some diamonds over here. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like diamonds to me is like a building block. It's not even an ore anymore. Whoa, it's it's like futuristic uh, walls. If I just like use the diamonds, b build a wall of them and then add glass to them, they feel f a little bit futuristic because of the l little lights, the little blue lights, I think. I'm not sure, man. <laughs> but this is okay. This is okay, diamonds. Let's go back to the shop and fill it. Restocking some redstone. There we go. Uh, let me just make it perfect. I usually do this just to make it look cool. Oh, let me see if anybody bought anything. Oh, yeah. Two diamonds for these. And, ooh, two diamonds for those too. Lovely. Yeah, I'm making deals already. Let's go. Oh, yes. I knew somebody wanted, I knew somebody wanted to get dispensers because they're painful to craft. So we made eight diamonds out of the shop for today. I mean, we already made like nine diamonds already because of the redstone. I feel like people want to buy redstone more than anything here. So I stocked it more. Now for the actual plan on this episode, 
I wanted to finish my elytra course so I can actually start the announcement on this video so people can actually get ready to the tournament but uh, I need to craft flags with numbers so people can actually organize where they're going and put the flags on top of these circles to help them know where they're going and I oh my god my Shunder render doesn't show anything. I'm always on 5 because I don't trust the server. I'm on 13, I, I can see everything. I'm just saying, I want to craft lots of flags and learn how to make them because I never made flags in Minecraft. This is weird. I never made flags in Minecraft. Why is the plane just comes to the time where I actually commentate every time. This is like the 20th time the, the plane knows what I'm commentating. So hopefully I can actually get the Elytra course set up. And also I want to do a long grinding with my concrete to see if I can get like maybe uh, 12 boxes of gray concrete and three boxes of uh, light gray and maybe a box of white concrete because on the next episode I want to do a big progress but on this episode I just want to have fun and you know finish the tournament because I might actually make carrot make announcement on the discord server to make everybody actually feel interested if I'm lucky enough I made a fair amount of concrete in just like couple hours which it, it was bad process I gotta dig all the concrete with my pickaxes, and I felt like, okay, I wanna do something better than this. I might do something suspicious and abuse the bedrock blocks that I have, but I might go to this land where I located and build the weather cage in here, just safe, so far away from my base, so if anything goes wrong, I can kill the weather boss easily, because I bet he will not, like, escape, he will just fight me constantly, and I'm not gonna die, I, I killed weather bosses all day. Back in my days, in my, in my let's play, so it's actually easy to kill the weather boss with my golden apples. But I bet I will not make a mistake in this place. I will just get the world seed and then try it there, and then I will try it here. Just so I can do it in the first attempt. But that's for the next episode. Right now, for this episode, I need to make banners with numbers so I can finish the elytra course. So let's keep this area for a later episode. It took me quite a while to get the numbers on, because number one is not that perfect, but it's okay. And it's actually easy to make copies, I just do this and then I get extra. Now I have three, number five. But where do I place them? I have a regular glass on my hand. And I want to start with number one. So let me just get my scaffoldings, I guess. I'm gonna spend some time placing these banners. Where did I put my ender chest? Every goddamn time. Number one goes right here. Nice. Let me just look at it from far away. Let me just stand right here and look at it. Oh! <laughs> Actually nice. Let's do the rest of them and hopefully I have enough numbers for them. I don't know how many hoops I made. Let's test this out. Number one. And then number two. Yes. Calculated perfectly. Number three to number four. It's a bit laggy, but it's alright. And number five. It looks weird, but it's okay. Number six. And fly through this. Nah, not lucky today. Number seven to number eight. And number nine on top. So, and then ten. It looks like 100. Should I make it 100? You know what? <laughs> Just for the victory. Like 100%. There yeah, you got you got the win. Let me just place another glass over here. Oh, I might ruin it. Nope. The regular glass doesn't do anything. And let me just duplicate the number zero. And then make it 100. Oh, that's nice. Well, let me try to hit a record on this game. Let's see my skills. Whoop. I don't see anything. Oh my god. Ow, ow. And fly. Ah. I should not hit it. Uh, what is this? Okay, failed this one. It should load the chunks for me. I don't know why it's just slowly trying to get the things together. Oh yeah, why is this even a thing? Why do I have to load the chunks like that? Let me make it maxed out. Let me just max my chunks render. I just don't want to do that because I will lag while flying. But let me try this. Let's go. Fly fast. Slow it back. Fly fast. Uh, oh. <laughs> Wee. And then, ow. We okay. I'm I'm a bit up. Uh, and yes, oh, almost died. And I guess this is the big announcement for the Elytra course. Elytra course is now on. I'm just gonna place a chest for everybody to join in the tournament. And I just have to get a piece of paper on my Elytra course shop. On this chest, I want everybody with their papers and their names in it, so they can put their papers with their names and get accepted to the tournament. And the tournament might take about two weeks. Airplane, get out of here! <sighs> Whatever. Two weeks after, I will try to prepare the prizes for people. Here we go. Ah, oh, damn, it's so rainy. 
Let me hide in my structure. A little update, I closed my Elijah course because I don't want people to try it right now unless I get names, so let me see. Yeah, <laughs> not yet. Uh, there's a, a shulker box over here where they can get their papers and they will rename them with their names and then they can put it here. And the price to join in is a diamond block, sadly. If if you can't handle this price, it's, it's fine. You don't have to join. I have to make a chest for that diamond block. Why do I not have an ender chest? <laughs> <laughs> I need a stack of ender chest in my inventory next time. They can pay on this barrel. Pay. That's it. But I guess this is all I got for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed uh, Guild Rock episode 8. No, that's early episode 8 on the Mega Base. I meant episode number 9. And I will see you to the next one. I'm hoping to see a lot of players on this tournament and get their clips on my video. I don't, I don't know how to import their videos to my video, but I will just record their clips and then edit it to mine and see who is the legend. But that might take two weeks because the tournament will end in two weeks and we will see the winner after that time. But for now, I'll see you all later to the next episode. Goodbye.